Happy hobby days, everybody! Welcome to the hobby room. Just a quick little video because I wanted to show you a new addition to the Tamiya family. So I got a new grasshopper, not this one, but this one. As you can see, it's the 2015 Black Edition of the Grasshopper 2005 re-release. And in a moment I'll promise you I'll get into the comparison between the Candy Green Edition you saw just before and then this Black Edition. But a quick overview, this limited black edition got the special yellow wheels it got the special white springs which are looking pretty good i think and then of course it got the black body i don't think it's pre-painted i think it's just bare uh, black plastic but you can correct me if i'm wrong on that one and of course it's got the yellow uh, sorry red yellow and gunmetal uh, stickers that are also special for this edition otherwise i can't see any difference between this one and the 2005 so it's a runner and it got some dirt on it still which i'm not gonna clean up because i'm gonna use it as a runner too so so dirt and some scratches but that's perfectly fine and perfect for me because this is a run or two on top of that my friend has equipped uh, equipped it with ball bearings so it's got full ball bearings 9 1150 and I hope uh, 1850 in the gearbox and on top of that to make it a little more interesting now that I got the other it got the upgraded 540 Mabuchi motor so basically it should be just as capable as a Hornet with the 540 stock motor I believe it comes with an 18 tooth pinion that fits the upgraded motor as well so it was a runner and i got my friends always leaves the good carson standard servos for me <laughs> and they are perfect for this type of car a three kilogram servo so i left that inside and i just had to equip it with an esc and a receiver so for the first time now that I got two grasshoppers, I actually installed a 2.4 gigahertz receiver and radio for this. These are the Ghoul RC TG3 model and I just I think it's a TBL E02S ESC. So perfect setup for a little 540 motor runner apart from a minor cleanup and dust off i did some work on this very quickly so as said my friend had it as a runner and uh, he didn't paint or install frank evans here the driver of the grasshopper so i quickly did some work on him painted him up and placed him in the correct position. A few touch-ups of the decals was also required. I'm not sure if I did a very good job, but as you can see, it's quite important for the grasshoppers because there's a little ridge here. So if you get too high up here, the stickers might start to peel off. So better a little down here away from these ridges so the stickers are placed correctly but I tried to super glue them back on again here 
without all of them maybe I need to trim these also it should have been just a tiny bit more down here as well to assure a good grip but otherwise the stickers are good placed so I did that and removed uh, repainted a few scratches on the auxiliary lights otherwise it's just as I received it. Side by side they are looking pretty different but apart from the 540 motor in this versus the stock 380 motor in this and the 27 megahertz Mark Bryan special wibbly wobbly versus the 2.4 gigahertz radio yo they are pretty much the same they should handle the same just a little faster and maybe a bit more reliable radio although i have never really had any problems with the 27 megahertz so i like to install the re-releases with these kind of radios because they look more authentic that way with the antenna sticking out but well now that i got two i and it's faster i could might as well just try it out with a 2.4 gigahertz radio on this one to return to the 2013 candy green edition that's pretty much only one thing to say while the black edition is kind of special with the yellow wings special stickers and the black body and the white springs there's really nothing at all special with the candy green edition so if you've got a 2005 the original re-release re, re basically all you need to apply is a TS52 paint job and you will end up with this very special limited edition on top of the that <laughs> it can't really be called more limited than very non-limited because i think in 2017 tamir just re-released this 2013 limited edition an identical uh, edition with the candy green body but just with a different number now this is the 84416 I can't remember the 2017 it's, I think it's a 49 in the series 47 or 49 but it's pretty much identical so not more limited than you can just get one with a different number but exactly the same and you can just get a normal one apply some candy green and you've got the very special limited edition here now that this is a black edition and on top of that with a 540 motor i thought it was pretty natural to compare it quickly with a hornet 2. i wish i had the standard 2004 hornet with the white wheels and the black body but this is the special black metallic edition of the hornet where the body is starting to look let's just say a little flimsy from all the running now i'm actually hoping that this will perform better than this one although this one got the let's quickly turn them around got the oil field dampers here they are pretty hard and pretty small so i don't think they make much of a difference but as you can see this is a stock 540 motor on the hornet and this is a new upgraded one identical to this one but a 540 on the grasshopper on top of that my hornet still has this issue now i could make a 15 minutes video about this system but those of you who know the system know that this is a malfunctional system and just 
adds to the unreliability of the Hornet. So one mod, one modification is needed in the rear for the Hornet gearbox compared to the Grasshopper gearbox. The same gear ratio, but it's just that this is a rigid um, rear gearbox and this is a rigid rolling gearbox as Tamir likes to call it. On top of that, the standard, these are wide but function just as well as the standard uh, springs, pogo sticks. So on the grasshopper, it's quite important also on the Hornet to keep these as fairly flexible and as soft as possible because these are probably some of the most lightest non-heavy uh, one-tenth scale buggies around. So in order to secure that these swing arms actually will do their job when encountering objects, it's important that the springs are fairly soft. Now as you can see, we got a good action going on here, but the Hornet is just way too Part. I have seen people, I think Shin RC, fitting a fishing line to fix that one and just cutting a couple of these uh, edges of the springs and it should be all better. So it's not some expensive fixes. So if you've got some fishing line, which I don't, it should be more or less free. But otherwise you can remove the top of these Hornet spring containers which the grasshopper do not have but as stuck as the are now i think this one will actually perform better with the solid and rigid uh, what's it called the uh, rear axle and gearbox and the flexible springs than the hornet on top of that i've been told by ampro engineering that the grasshopper chassis, chassis which is used for the grasshopper and the hornet is actually more reliable because it got the hard body on this which kind of strengthens and holds up the chassis itself whereas this is a polycarbonate body which doesn't really help with anything other than reducing some weight and making the body more flexible in hard crashes. But so far I haven't really broken anything on my grasshopper, but this polycarbonate body is starting to tear down and it won't be much more crashes before this rear wing, which is known to and prone to fall off and break off, is gonna break off. So I'm looking forward to be running this one in the future and no, I don't think I will put a brushless system or a sport tuned motor in this. Already got a rising fighter, a Grasshopper 2 chassis, the rising fighter with a sport tuned motor. So I think the 540 Mabuchi standard Tamiya silver can is good for this little buggy. A little extra information about this release is that while the stickers actually are pretty gun metal grayish, the instructions actually tells you to paint the bars and the helmet and such all chrome. I chose to paint the helmet and the bars here gunmetal. I don't know if it was the right choice, but it certainly adds to the stealth uh, factor of this edition. Another side note to these special editions is that if you're looking for a special edition with a special edition box, there is none. 
So all these editions, as you can see, come with the 2005 Grasshopper box. Just added a little Candy Bean edition sticker here and a little sticker here with the new item number. Same here, the black edition, a little sticker and a little sticker right here. So, apart from the stickers, the boxes are exactly the same. And as always, this video got far too long, sorry for that, but that's the whole idea of this channel. I can talk forever about what I am a bit passionate about. And I am definitely passionate about these hoppers. So that's it. I hope it interested just a few other hopper and grasshopper hornet addicts out there. If I forgot some good information, please add it in the comment section. I will get back to my DT010203 project and I will definitely make sure that one time or another you will see a running video or maybe a GPS speed run with this 540 motor compared to the 380 one time or another on my main RC channel Nordic RC Visions. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll see you another time. Happy holidays, keep them running and take care.